बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम Dr. Sir, thank you very much for your time. Dr. Sir, Sheikh Hasina is no more in the Prime Minister office of Bangladesh, and she is uh, in India right now. Uh, what do you have to say to that? Uh, what was your first thought? This first thought is a freedom. We are li- we are liberated. We are a free country now. We we are we, we are we are an occupied country as long as she was there. She was uh, behaving like a occupation force, a dictator, a general, and so on, controlling everything. today all the people of bangladesh feel liberated they are again the second liberation movement the uh, occasion the celebration of occasion mm. going on all over the country you see this and a congratulations to all the young people who led this whole movement uh, to come bring it to this level liberate us uh, uh, ultimately bringing everybody together and liberate the whole country you are feeling that sense of liberation joy that we can start all over again we missed it we wanted to do it in the first round when we became independent in 1971 and we missed it because of all this problem that we have right now uh we want to now make a fresh start and create a beautiful country for ourselves that's the commitment we do and students and young people will be leading our uh, future that's what the thing i'm looking forward to dr uh, what next for bangladesh now uh, your chief of army staff has said that an interim government will be formed now uh, so what kind of interim government are you looking at Well, that uh, will be coming. I'm sure all this thing happened now that uh, uh, Hasina has left the country, fled the country. Now we are free. We are, we can decide what we want. So all these issues will be resolved as we go along, and I'm sure we will uh, have a very good start. And what kind of role do you see for yourself, Doctor? Uh, as there are reports uh, that you are ready to work as the chief advisor uh, or uh, maybe the head of the interim government in Bangladesh now. I will continue to work for the people the way I did before with micro credit, with social business, and everything. So I will continue with the, my work uh, in a more free environment that I didn't have during the regime of Sheikh Hasina, because she is always pursuing, me, always attacking me, and so on. So I will continue to devote myself to, to do the things that I couldn't do before. And most importantly, when are you planning to move back to Bangladesh? Yes, I will be very soon. I'll be coming back. Uh, Doctor, uh, we have seen images where people have stormed uh, into the uh, Prime Minister's uh, palace in Bangladesh, and then they vandalized the statue of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. How do you see all this? It shows. It says what they feel about Hasina, what she did to herself and to her father. This is an expression of the damage she has done. So it's, it's it's not the fault of the young people who are doing this. It's the fault of the person who made these images go down the drain. And lastly, Doctor, uh, what do you think is the role of U.S. and India in all what happened in Bangladesh? Usually, people think about India played a role in it, all of all of it, one way. Uh, and people blame U.S.A. for not playing active role in Bangladesh and always trying to do things in Bangladesh through India. And people are very upset about that. Uh, so I don't know what uh, role India has played, but our complaint is uh, India was playing the major role. and he was was playing a minor role so i i don't know what role now uh, they are playing on this uh, scenario and what role they will play in the upcoming uh, situation well thank you very much dr sir for your time uh, viewers this is all from today take care allah hafiz pakistan zindabad